Hey YouTube, good morning. Another day of uh, videoing with some good ideas from the comments in the uh, in the comment section. This time, I have a B pillar camera being recorded by an iPhone. I hope it doesn't fall off, and I have a headlight camera mounted uh, with a GoPro. And of course, I've got the GoPro in here to film the FSD display. Hopefully we can get some good angles of some turns in the viewing angles from both perspectives. Let's take a look. Okay, here we've got our first turn coming up on this left intersection that I've tested many times before show you the left perspective and I'll stop at the stop line all right there's the stop line as you can see in the visualization and I can't quite see anything uh, from my perspective yet so I'm gonna start creeping forward till I can start to see now right about there I can start to see and there's oncoming cars there's a purple car coming and I'm gonna peek a little bit further and right about now I can see all the way down the highway uh, and I would go ahead and proceed I'm gonna wait just a second for the visualizations to fill up and you can see how far the cars are showing back up when you can see all the way out and then uh, visually I'm gonna proceed okay intersection number two a hard look back to the left sorry bringing up my tire pressures by accident I'm gonna proceed up to the stop line which is right there and I can see a little bit because this is a curved road but I'm gonna creep up a little bit further and right here my uh, eyes have a, a, a perfect view of the road as I can see the traffic coming from around the bend there's a uh, a few cars coming, so I'll sit here for another couple seconds just to let the visualization populate. There is a little bit of a fence here that's interesting to note. Uh, as we discuss what the depth perception might be with a fence looking through it. You see that car hasn't shown up yet until it kind of came around that fence. I, I wonder if that fence there is also an issue. Um, similar to looking through trees where a human can see a car approaching through foliage um, what do the neural networks need in order to perceive that that motion through an obstruction all right two more cars uh, for the visualization and then I'll proceed okay let's go try number three All right, intersection number three has got a median with some trees without foliage at the moment. And this is crossing the same three lane intersection. All right, so there's the stop line. You can see it both on the visualization. I'm actually a little bit past it. And I'm gonna creep forward just a smidge where I can try to see down to the left. Okay, I'm starting to see cars appearing visually but it's still pretty tight. So I'm gonna keep creeping forward. All right, right about there you can see I'm almost in the street on the visualization and that's pretty accurate. I can start to see all the way down the street with the, my human eye. Uh, and I imagine the B pillar is getting a pretty good look now. So there are some cars coming. I'm gonna go ahead and have to proceed because there's someone behind me. Okay, this is the second attempt at this intersection. Hopefully I can give you a little bit more time at the visualization of oncoming traffic. All right, right here is the stop line. I'm gonna slowly creep forward. Looking left. Right about there, as a human, I could start to get a view. There's a car coming there. 
pretty quickly. The car is approaching at about 50 miles an hour on this road. And right about there, I'm almost in the street. You can see in the visualization. And then looking left, this is the perspective. So you can see the the medians are only being drawn back uh, a little bit, not quite as far. Uh, there's a little bit of foliage there, but you can start to see down the left-hand side. I'm going to sit here just for another second. As you can see, oncoming traffic on the other side is being mapped. And here, two more cars approaching from the left. The camera on the B-pillar has a range of 80 meters. If these cars are going 50 miles an hour, that's about 22 meters per second. So we've got a little less than four seconds of, of visibility with the resolution of that camera. So it's a tricky problem to try to do all of it uh, with, one, with one camera. I'm not saying they can't, I'm just saying uh, they're gonna have to be pretty good at it or find another solution such as rerouting additional cameras uh, or another sensor. All right, let's find uh, one more intersection. And the, the next one I have has a little bit more of a fence. Okay, here's uh, another intersection, but this one has a fence to the left-hand side, so it's completely occluded until you get out towards the stop line. So I'll just show you once again. Here's the stop line both on the display and on the screen, and I can't see anything, so I'm gonna have to creep forward for sure. All right, so I'm going as far out as I can. I'm starting to, to look into the sun a little bit more. Hopefully the cameras can see. Now I'm starting to get about two or three seconds of visualization. Um, right about there, I would feel comfortable with going uh, with the perspective I have based on having about a second, a second and a half to get across the road. Here you can see a couple cars. These cars are coming a little bit faster. They're, they're going about 50, 55 miles an hour. Okay. I'll wait just a smidge longer and then I think uh, I'll proceed to the next one. That's a good example there. All right. Okay, this one uh, is a demonstration of perhaps looking through foliage. You can see to the left, I'm looking through some oak trees. So depending on how a camera or the neural networks decide to look through things, uh, I, I guess we'll perhaps add some perception. So there's the stop line for the stop sign. I'm looking through some trees, some moss, and I can see cars and headlights approaching. Um, visually, I, I'm not seeing many mapped onto the visualization yet. So that could be some indication that the imagery cannot see through a tree where perhaps a human could. So I'm gonna go a little bit further forward. Now I'm creeping out onto the street, just a smidge, there you go. So now I've got a good view of the highway um, and pretty rapid cars approaching at about 50, 50 miles, miles an hour. Interesting, I'm not seeing anything here um, on the visualization, which is a little disturbing. There's a car behind me, but I'm gonna take a left turn here and we'll see what, uh, get, I'm gonna creep out a little bit further. All right, and then I'm proceeding. Okay, this is take two, looking through the foliage. I, I wasn't seeing any cars last time. I just want to duplicate it and see if I can say it was a glitch or something else. Okay, so here I am at the stop line. There are, are starting to be some cars coming. I can see them through the trees just fine. Um, and then now they're coming from around the tree. So I'm gonna, okay, there's a few cars there. So I'm gonna peek out a little bit further forward. I'm not quite to the edge of the street, but I'm definitely in the crosswalk. Okay, so now I've got a pretty good view down, down the street with my eye, and I imagine the B-pillar starting to get a, a pretty good angle. 
there's a couple cars approaching from the distance uh, and they seem to be being mapped relatively well well actually they're not at the moment there's a yellow one and here comes the blue and yellow one I'm just gonna stand here for a second yeah okay so this time it is mapping a little bit better I'm gonna back up a hair to look through this foliage again okay back and drive all right so now they're looking through the foliage there I can see the cars coming through the trees I don't see anything on the visualization until they came around the trees that time. All right, I'm standing here looking through the trees at them and then around the trees. Okay, we got some good data today. I think that that helps perhaps give a little bit of perspective. Hopefully the camera from both the B-pillar and the headlight camera are beneficial.